Yeah, yeah we saw this. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories, stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend See Washington DC. You see the monument? Yeah. Yeah, I see it. Many minds burning He's taking down the DC library. <laughs> Poetic don't Ooh. You? some choices will bring you closer together. While others Push you apart. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures, pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. What nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? Poor Rachel has been lost to the darkness. What of Jason and Nick? Brothers in arms, but are they really as close as they appear? Or will it be a case of each man for himself? Let's not forget that they've already left one man behind to die tonight. Which brings us to Salih. He seems level-headed. An almost reluctant soldier, perhaps. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors, trapped beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. <clears throat> one by one, their lights will be snuffed out, unless you can find the means to save them. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. We're deciding. A prudent choice, all things considered. Long ago, I met a blind poet who impressed upon me these wise words. Long is the way and hard, and out of hell leads up to light. That's all for now. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Eric is we definitely alive. We didn't see him get killed by any any of them. Yeah. He just ran away. Rachel found her way back to the lights. Well done. <gasps> yes, we did it. Oh yeah. Although don't get complacent. Their lives still. Talk. I don't know what to do in the final part. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> we have to be ready. Let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. Those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale. As for Jason and Salim, sworn enemies who cannot seem to bury the hatchet, 
unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them under it. Five candles lit. The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven. Bravo! It appears your charges have emerged from their hell in one piece, although this ordeal will continue to haunt them for the rest of their lives. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out. <laughs>